When propagating our Australian stingless bees, there's one species that really sticks out as being far more adaptable than all of the others. And I'm talking about Austroplebea australis. These little ladies respond really well to splitting vertically and horizontally, but they also respond exceedingly well to an assisted adduction or a brood lift. And by that, I mean you hook an empty box up to the front of a strong Australis colony, and then a couple of days down the track when they put a little bit of food in that empty box and established a defensive entrance tunnel, you can then add some brood, either from your mother colony preferably from a, an outside colony. I like to mix up the genetics a little bit, but they are an extremely adaptable bee, absolutely beautiful to work with. And today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's go. And recording. Righto guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna get some brood in this Australis observation hive. Uh, it's been hooked up for five days now. Um, I'll stick a couple of videos in showing what it looked like at day two and day four. But we've got a very small window of opportunity right now to get some brood into this guy. So uh, let's crack on. So this is day two. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at all the pots they put in there. I might give them maybe... Uh, Oh, probably a week, I guess. I want to see that entrance tunnel there get a lot bigger uh, before I add some brood into this guy. All right, afternoon, folks. So this is our Australis observation hive that I'm preparing to put brood in. This is day four. Day four. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, so... I was going to wait a week. I'm not going to wait a week. Alrighty, let's get this happening. Alright, so here's our mother hive here. Remove this viewing panel. So much gooey resin. Let's have a quick look on this viewing panel for queen cells. I can't see any. Plenty of bees and chock a block, heaps of resin. Look at this resin. Oh my god. So sticky. Alright. Pass that off. <laughs> Alright, and so I can see a great big fat queen cell here. Right up the top. I'll just grab this camera here off the tripod. Gotta be super quick, guys. Got rain incoming focus okay there's our queen cell there right on the end of my finger difficult to see there okay let's go <laughs> should have worn my stronger glasses Another queen cell there, I'll take that guy. Another queen cell there, I'll take that guy too. So all the new brood is down underneath. And so I might just take a section of older brood here. this viewing panel back down. Oh, 
difficult with all the resin underneath it. I should clean that up one day and replace it properly. All right, guys, it's going to be a little bit tricky to video. Hello. Have to go quickly because the rain is coming. And the girls have been quite accommodating. They haven't built anything at all on this lower panel. So that's great. Yeah. Helps if you remove all the screws, you dickhead. And the panel just falls out when you get all the screws out. All right. Ah, magic. Okie dokes. I'll just put that panel up there. Get our brood. And we just go straight into the little brood cradle there. In she goes. We've got at least two queen cells in here. I normally do this with the observation hive lying down flat. Makes it a little bit easier to do. deal with it. Dropped a little piece of brood down here. Bugger. There we go, we got him. Okay, let me get this side panel back on. I'm being careful not to squash any bees. Don't go there. Okay, I think we're good. Let's get these screws in. All right, guys, let's have a look what we ended up with. So I ended up taking pretty much all old brood. I didn't put any um, new brood or advancing front in, just old brood. Um, I've got at least two queen cells in there. You can see the bees are all over it. All right, guys. So yesterday you saw me transfer some brood into the Australis observation hive. Um, that was only some old brood. Um, I simply ran out of time. I was against the weather. Well, the weather was against me because I want to transfer some new brood as well. And the new brood gives that hive legacy, okay? So the old brood is in there with an old queen cell. And when I say old, I mean ready to hatch. Um, and that's going to give me immediate bee numbers and hopefully a princess in that box. But I want some new brood in there as well. And that's going to give legacy um, further on down the track in a month or so. When these bees hatch out, um, it'll maintain the bee numbers. So anyway... I just want a little piece of um, newer brood and this is the hive I've selected to take it from. Just see if you guys can see that. There she is, a beauty. Okay, let's quickly crack on. I don't want to disturb things too much because there's Lots of honey, lots of pollen, lots of bees. Just have to be super careful. And of course, we've got our queen here as well. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but our queen is just on the end of my finger here. So that's good that I know where she is. Because I can avoid her. So she's there. 
I'll just come straight in here and take not much a dessert spoon of new brood and that's fine that's heaps uh, which way did this go in this way I think put our panel back on being careful not to squash any bees as we do so Oops. all right guys this is going to be a little bit difficult for you guys to see because there's sun on the camera it's going to take this uh lower panel off again and just lay him down like that Let's grab this brood. And we go straight in with him like that. My Australis brood is so crumbly. Quite difficult to work with. Dokes. Let me just grab this and we'll have a quick look. Okay, this thing will focus for us. All right, so you can clearly see the new brood that I added up the top there. Our older brood down the bottom. Our queen cells are in there. We have bulk food, bulk bees. So it's time to disconnect. All right, guys, it's been a couple of weeks since I did the brood lift. Let's see if we can see a new queen. Ah, look, there she is. Oh, she's a beauty. There is our shiny new queen in this Australis observation hive. Oh, she's gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, folks, let's have a look at this guy here for the, um, this will be the final installment. Um, so day one of hooking this box up um, to its mother hive, which is just out of shot here, um, was the 24th of November, 2024. It's now the 27th of December, 2024. So a touch over a month to go from completely empty box to what we're about to see. Okay, let's go. Holy cow. Okay, as we can see, we have got boatloads of food. Our brood is growing beautifully. That weirdo pattern that they're putting in there. I call that a brain pattern. <laughs> that's what it looks like how good might be better if I remove this camera from the tripod one sec okay let's see what we've got starting at the top monstrous amounts of food a little bit too much pollen in there for my liking but whatever coming down to the brood Got that funky pattern on it. Outstanding, there's our queen right in the middle of the shot there. I'll see if I can focus on her a little bit better. They blend in well. So there she is there. How good. All right, I'll just sneak around the other side of the hive. Okay, so pretty similar situation going on on this side. Boatloads of food, coming down to the brood, and there we are, look at that, outstanding. So that brood is a solid tennis ball size now. So empty box to a tennis ball size of brood, 
heaps of bees, heaps of food, tied a touch over 30 days. So, you know, really, <laughs> I, I can't ask for any more than that. That's outstanding. Good genetics with all bees is pretty much the only thing that matters, guys. Good genetics get good results. You can flog a dead horse with shit genetics all day and just waste your time. But that's awesome. All right, guys, so that's us. We're done. Yeah, bloody stoked, I tell you. Awesome. Right, guys, enjoy the rest of your festive season and um, be careful and be good to yourselves, eh?